evening guys um this is just a, a little update on what's going on with my channel i know there's not a lot been going on just recently for a few months and it's because um last month i became quite ill a few of you already know it who are my subscribers but yeah I ended up with ending up in hospital for a start and finding out that I had gastritis and um, pancreatitis now pancreatitis I didn't realize could be fatal it's either gallstones in the pancreas leading to heavy bleeding or it could be alcohol related now yes I used to drink every night and since that day I've had no more I had a couple of drinks last night and this morning I didn't feel good so now it's water only tap or still water from the shop anyway regarding my channel what's happening this year 2023 by the way I haven't said Merry Christmas or Happy New Year so there you go guys but I've a couple more things um, got myself some um, big pack of Aberdeen's size one O's just so I can carry on making more um, fishing rigs I've got plenty of pulley rigs Thanks for Darren's Wheelie Wheels on um, Facebook. Jump onto his page. Um, I bought me a selection of uh, three mil uh, beads. Now with this pack, that one, that one, and that one are luminous. So those three, Maybe with them and the orange ones, I could use when I do my uh, one up, one slip down rig with the cascade swivel where it slips down to the bottom with a hook at the bottom and have a few of those mixed with either the blue, blue and orange or blue and green mixed with them and have them laid on the bottom. Just a bit of javel might put a spinner in there as well because I've got a few um, spinner blades in silver so those two are from my rig making now I did buy a power bank before which I've shown on one of my previous channels and I thought that's a bloody good idea now if I'm out for longer I thought, right, I'll get me another one. So I've got me another one, exactly the same. It's the BSYYO and it's the 10,600. Exactly the same one as I bought before. You press the button on the side Tells you how much power it's got, as you can see there, fully powered. So I thought, right, I'll get me a spare one of them just in case the other one dies. Now, I've looked into more tripods. Unfortunately, my little tripod that I normally use, the as you can see there. The screw piece that's supposed to come up from there was broken off. So, 
that bit there one screw on and that is the spare piece for my other bits so I'm going to try and get a nut to fit that screw there super glue the nut to there and see how I get on that way that's that now my next little purchase that I got I went into Poundland and I saw this and I thought oh now I need a tripod and this doubles up as a selfie stick as well so this was in Poundland and it's that one there it's a Vido wireless selfie stick and it's a selfie stick which turns into a tripod which I'm actually using right now brilliant little stick the one thing you've got to watch with the tripod part itself it does need a little bit of help to keep the legs open and fix properly so that's the only yeah I've got with it but at the moment I've got it working all right now I've been having a look at a few channels and they've gone into LRF light reef fishing so light rods light line very light gear very small hooks small leads now I might put a video up of me making some of the small leads because I've, I've got a mould so I might make some more of the smaller leads I did put a video up about me making the big uh, six and eight ounce ball leads that I've made and on the end of the video I do make four ounce plane and gripper leads it's the same mold but you just put the, the wires in obviously to adapt to the uh, gripper but I saw these on Amazon and I thought hmm I wonder and they're on a what looks like is a coarse fishing size 12 hook and there's quite a few in there you've got the pink black green white and yellow heads to them and they're lead headed jigs quite light in weight I think about one or two grams so I thought I'd give them a try when I'm down in Scarborough or I know this year I'm up to Scarborough, Torquay, Paynton and Isle of Wight as well I've got planned for this year so just a little update on some of the stuff that I've bought just to help my channel along and try something a little bit different I mean I've done the beach fishing I've done the pier fishing so I thought oh I might try a little bit of LRF give that a try see how I get on now my plans for the year and dates I've got here so the 6th to the 10th of February now all these trips me and mum are going so so the 6th to the 10th of February this year which is only in a few weeks we're heading back up to Scarborough back to the same hotel as where in one of my previous videos I stayed at the Esplanade Hotel cracking hotel Barman Ethan who you saw on the video great guy cracking guy to get on with all the staff are brilliant and then 
April the 7th to the 10th weekend one. I'm off down to Western. Now that is going to be a relaxing holiday. Me and mum, mum's birthday, that's going to be a relaxer. So I might do a video of the surroundings and have a walk down towards the pier and stuff like that and to the long, late lock, land locked lake as well so I might do a video on that then May the 15th to 19th I'm heading down to Torquay so I don't know whether I'll be trying a bit of boat fishing while I'm at Torquay out from Torquay or even off the pier or harbour there so I'll see what's going on there might make a video if I do go out and put that up on my channel now June the 1st to the 15th it's a weekend now I don't know if any of you guys are from the Isle of Wight but I'll be staying at the Daesh Hotel at Shanklin if any of you can give me any info in the comments below about where to go around Shanklin to have a day's fishing or if there's any boats that go out from Shanklin let me know in the comments below please and we'll see how it goes from there now July the 28th to the 1st is another relaxer down at Weston and then the next one then is September the 18th to the 22nd. Now we're going to Paynton, which is only across the water from Torquay. So I know I've seen on, on YouTube, there is areas around Paynton where I can fish. There's the Paynton Pier and the harbour and that. So I might give that a try and try and make up a video of that. Now, I'm thinking about doing how-to videos. The rigs that I've made, I might do a selection of how-to. Let me know what you guys think. It's some a bit different. And just let me know down below in the comments what you reckon. I think it might be a good idea. Extends my calibre in YouTube as well. And uh, might add a few more subscribers to my channel as well. To let you know, I'm my channel's been going up and down regarding subscribers. I'm currently at 281. It did drop down because I know at one point I was on 289 and it did drop down to um, 274 at one point. Now I think that's because I'm not putting content out and there's not many people viewing and so at the moment it's slowly going back up so I'm at 281 so if you watch any of my videos please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified of any videos I put up and let's all have a crack in 2023 so from me for now until the next one big loves to you all and i hope you all those that are fishing tight lines i know there's a fishing competition coming up because darren bennett from um darren's wheelie wheels is out on a competition and in the next few days Good luck to all those that are going for that. Tight lines, everyone. And I'm going to wish you all the best for 2023. And, if I, and I'll see you on my next video. Hope you all have a good evening, guys.